I think this kind of stands the test of time here, my man. It really does. The principles are the same. Difference is, okay, are there different tools, different things in place that we can use now? Yeah, there are. A lot of them are actually really similar and the same. Of course, you've got AI now. So what are you doing to achieve the monitoring and the visibility with AI? That's a good question. And there's stuff out there. There's like Palo Alto AI Access Security that I like a lot. That's a platform that will keep all the AI, AI use in your environment cataloged and then help you control it, right? Not just catalog it, but also take action on it. Put policies in place that can lock it down. Like a Prisma Access Browser, something that yep. can, yep. if your users are accessing AI, public AI, through that browser, and they go ahead and dump in something that's proprietary that you've made a rule about, it'll block it. It won't let it get submitted to AI, right? If it's PII or whatever else you create a rule for. So the tools are slightly different. And then some of them are the same. The firewalls are the same, just a lot more advanced now. But the principles, I don't see how these principles change, honestly, over time. No, they're tried and true, man. If you got gold in your castle, you know, you're putting a moat around it, that's defense in depth. I don't know the lock, standing a guard. These type things are rock solid. 